This rural girl can't read a word but succeeded in her interview to become a secretary. The boss hired her because of the girl's outrageous way of keyboarding. A minute later the boss checked the document and there were 360 words without a mistake. I can't believe she did this with just two fingers. It would be a shame to have such a talent as a secretary. So the boss decided to send the girl to a typing competition in the town, where she would win a $10,000 prize. And so the girl arrives at the competition with her talent and she has to win out of 50 competitors. It's a bit of a pressure for a girl from the countryside. So at the start of the competition, everyone was tapping their fingers on the keyboard in an orderly fashion. Only the girl didn't get into the swing of things. Her fingers were stiff and shaky and she was looking around. The result was predictable. And what should have been an easy win was lost due to two mistakes. The boss was so angry that he threw the girl out of the car and sent her home on foot. The girl was devastated by this defeat, not because she was scolded but because she regretted not having given her best, and longed for another chance to compete. As if hearing the girl's voice, the boss actually approached her and explained that he was trying to inspire the girl's potential, because the boss had been an athlete who had won many championships by teaching people a lesson, but eventually his dreams were crushed by reality. So when he saw that the girl had a talent for typing, his dream of being a champion was ignited and he wanted to train the girl to be number one in the world. However, the current world record for typing is 512 words a minute and hand speed with just two fingers is definitely not fast enough. So how do you improve? If two fingers don't work, then 10. And the best way to exercise the surgery is to play the piano. Not only does she need to work on her hands, but her physical strength is also fundamental, as she has to run 10 kilometers every day. Don't just bang on the keyboard. You'll burn 500 calories on the field when you're in a state of stress. Finally, there is the coordination training. The boss interferes verbally and even touches the girl, who has to talk and tap on the keyboard at the same time. To do this he demonstrates the highest level of concentration. After a period of intense training, the girl's hand speed reaches 480 beats per minute, so fast that she can't even keep up with a typewriter. It's time to get her back in the game. This was a women-only race. The center of attention was a purple-plaid beauty with a penchant for giving the middle finger. Lily, who had set a record of 500 words a minute. Her opponent was Mary, an illiterate woman from the countryside. As the game began, both players tapped their fingers on the keyboard and their speed was comparable. But Lily was calm because she was using a new scroll wheel keyboard, which was smooth and silky. In contrast, Mary's old machine was a little too fast for her. When the machine broke down during a paper change, Mary panicked and the boss thought she was going to lose. At the end of the game, the referee announced that they had both counted 498 words, so the referee decided to add 5 minutes to decide the winner. When she heard the news, Mary wanted to give up. She had barely tied with Lily in one minute, and it was even harder to win in five minutes. Seeing how negative she was, the boss had to cheer Mary up. You've actually gone over 500 words in training. Give it your best shot and beat her. Mary was confident and Lily became more aggressive. The referee blew the whistle and overtime began. But the boss left the field at the most crucial moment because he had just lied. Mary had never broken 500 words at a time in her training routine. And the boss had only lied to her in order to bring out his potential. He sat outside the door and prayed for a miracle. Inspired. Mary actually broke through and won the competition. Breaking the national record of 509 words per minute. Mary was mobbed by journalists at the award ceremony. The boss wanted to join the celebrations but was pushed to the end of the crowd. At this point a capitalist approached the boss and said to him, This is the end of your ability as a coach. If you want Mary to be a real champion, you have to leave her. Don't interfere with her becoming a world champion will you? The boss was angry but he knew the reason. As long as Mary wanted to compete in the world she had to accept the intervention of the capital. So he deliberately quarreled with Mary and withdrew her as secretary, so that Mary would be free. He sacrificed himself to fulfill her dream, and they parted ways. From then on, Mary became famous in the capital market. She began to endorse various products, and the typewriter that had won the title with her was now a trendy brand. From uneducated country girl to famous tycoon, Mary's life experience was going up, but her typing speed was at a low point. A new coach has reduced her from 500 words per minute to 300 per minute, less than a month to go until Worlds. How could Mary represent her country at this level? She began to give up on herself as if she had lost her dream, until the day Mary received a package. She opened it and saw that it was her first typewriter with a letter from her father inside. It seems that her father wanted Mary to know not to forget the coach who had been with her when she was growing up. In this world typing competition, 
Five countries, USA, Germany, Italy, France and Korea, compete together. They are of all ages. From 45-year-old women to 10-year-old girls, any woman can get on this stage if she is fast enough. If they fail they will be laughed at by the world. Ostensibly an athletic competition. This is actually a national ranking final. The world's champion woman from the USA versus the country girl Marie from France. The match is two out of three games. The one with the most keystrokes in a minute wins. At the start of the first game, Marie showed her superhuman talent by being so fast that she was able to match the American player's speed. As a result she narrowly beat her opponent by one word. The American player was getting anxious. She started to verbally attack Mary who was frozen. The second game began. Mary was just a little bit slower. But often it's the difference of a millisecond that makes the difference. In the end the American player knocked down 512 words to tie the score and Mary was overcome with emotion and only managed 506 words. She ran backstage in anger and tried to abandon the game. The man who was supposed to come and see Mary play hadn't arrived yet. Where the hell was he? In fact, just now, the boss came to the ring. He wanted to see Mary but was stopped by the capitalist. The capitalist thought his presence would interfere with Mary's game. The boss knocked him down and went backstage. After a year, he's finally come to his senses. What he was after was not a dream of being a champion, but a girl who would grow up with him. The boss confessed to Mary with all his heart. I love you. Boyed by love. The match was no longer in doubt. However, Mary returned to the stage with an old typewriter. The American contestants were stunned at the sight. How dare she challenge an intelligent machine with an old one? But Mary believed that with the power of love, no opponent was impossible to beat. At the end of the competition, Mary broke the world record of 515 words per minute and became the winner. The audience stood up and cheered for her, for they had not only witnessed a miracle, but also a sweet love. Mary had proved herself. Just as her father had taught her not to forget. May the audience remember that to and realize their ambitions in life.